Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for IU and her future spouse. Now this is about finding out whether this is a meaningful connection here. We're going to find out what their both their energies are here for her. Oh, she's looking for a caring connection, and wow, third chakra. So this is all about the solar plexus, believing in self, knowledge of self, confidence in self, clear feeling, and this all has to do with that self-worth. Now, somebody has learned about their self-worth. This is something they have already learned because the number 10 is there. Number five here is for changing in a caring connection. So there may be some sort of change coming in when it comes to her status. She may be single at this point where she may find a caring connection. Door to personal healing and happiness. So somebody's definitely learned a lesson here and is healing things within their life. And I feel like with the both of them, this is their combined energy. So they're both looking at healing. One is about caring connections. The other one is about self, having that self-confidence, having that self-love. So we have number seven. We have five, one seven or five one zero seven and have a look um, just to see what their other messages are for them i was going to look them up but that just takes up too much of my time and i've got so many readings that i want to try to do in a day so let's see what we have for the next one how does she feel about her partner how does she really feel about this person coming in hmm she's gonna pres um, perseverance perseverance she's <laughs> she's gonna persevere regardless of what's going on I feel like definitely just gonna keep going not giving up and I, I feel like spirits angels and ancestors are going to try to get her to just keep moving keep going you're fine so let's see yeah there's growth here so not putting so much into another so having that equal give and take so giving what you get in a sense and not giving too much of yourself where somebody takes advantage of that so yeah, discovering all about uh, boundaries, I'm kind of getting with that. Let's see, what do we have for this greatest strength of their relationship? So when they do meet and discover one another, I feel like they are going to have a certain strength about the relationship. What is it? Okay. There's going to be about truth and standing still is about um, taking time, waiting. There might be some truth here that needs to be heard or being true to self here. Whoa, okay, we got a bit of a story. Okay, taking the lead on something here. Wow, miracles and illumination. So definitely going some people are going to see these miracles coming in for her she's going to be illuminated to something here about maybe how she is a true leader or leadership that maybe she didn't realize she had within her she was waiting for something this miracle to come in it could be her person was trying to wait to find out some truth and her person may have been taking the lead and feeling like being blessed and miracles coming in. I feel like this illumination between the two of them here. What else do we have? Wow, healing chaos. So whatever was going on with them, there's definitely some healing or within themselves before they unite here. This may be her person taking the lead 
this is like a miracle come true and I feel like whatever is thrown at them they're gonna heal whatever the chaos comes their way well, let's go on to what is the biggest challenge that they're going to have to go through here what's the biggest challenge they may have to go through here freedom okay so still having the freedom of self and having time together so still being able to go to work every day without their partner being able to do the things that they still do for hobbies or um, things they like to do with their friends and then still having that time together and having a balance here that may be a real tough one um, I feel like because she is somebody in that industry where her time may not be well, a lot of people are going to want her time so it may be a thing about trying for her to be free from work in order oh darn it went under the table hang on a sec okay so having that freedom to be able to give this person that's coming in for her now these two fell on the floor so this are important okay so know that there is no greater goal than to love and she doesn't feel successful in that area I mean she's successful in her career I use my intuition in all aspects of my life so she's going to definitely go within and seek out information within herself to make any decisions and possibly with her partner once they become an item <laughs> judgment I understand that everybody has their own unique path and challenges so maybe not judging people too harshly or not judging them at all just knowing that everybody has their own challenges when it comes to their own life and being in the flow of things is all about concentrating on what's going on in your life not worrying about what everybody else is doing just concentrating on what's here and now right in the present and not worrying about what everybody else is doing <laughs> this is all faded wow <laughs> okay so the question here is um what does your partner need from you <laughs> so this is all faded so this is taking action and resolution resolving something here with number eight yeah a change in the wind so this may be something that's unexpected um, unforeseen forces coming in to maybe get these two together with the number three this may be getting her to maybe introduce to the group or whoever she's working with there's growth here and creativity so let's see here there's a fork in the road though so this may have something to do with structure stability or manifestations wow exchanging gifts so I feel like she's definitely going to be pampered by this person I feel like this person is definitely going to gift her things and, and really treat her like the queen that she is let's have a look at um, what do you need from your partner no where are we at here what does your partner need from you okay so <laughs> so what do you need from your partner this was what they needed from you okay so this may be unexpected for this person it may be a decision oh, which way do I go kind of thing do I pursue her it's all faded so this is what they need from her is to know that is destined that there's no other decision here they're going down a certain road here they're exchanging gifts let's crack the deck ah yang so hmm, these are all supposed to be the other way maybe they're upside down I'm gonna have to check that but anyways let's see so exchanging gifts okay so definitely a change in the wind for this person this is unexpected um, maybe getting involved here discovering each other um, 
being at a standstill, maybe healing whatever's in their life right now, feeling like they are entitled to some type of miracle. Well, not entitled, but knows that these miracles are coming in for them. And I feel like once they meet, it's going to be in the realization of actually who she is. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely intuition happening. And this is what she needs from her person what she needs from him okay so what iu needs from her future spouse is for him to use his intuition let there be harmony here memories of love that they have 266 here and what else and heartache and loss so knowing they've both gone through heartache and loss and i feel like that is a common denominator they are not going to do that to one another because they've both been through it when it comes to any memories they may have memories of heartache and loss and yeah they don't want any disruptions when it comes to them so 266 what was the other one again darn it three seven Two six six three seven. Okay, so let's do the tarot now and see what's going on with the tarot. Their energy. Ah, this is true. So there's some truth about this caring connection. What about this third chakra? Yes, working on his self worth. That's beautiful. Getting close to the end with number ten. Putting down any um fear based anything when it comes to that and what about the door to personal healing yeah look at that that <laughs> the ace of cups this is a blessing of love wow she wants truth he wants to work on his self-worth and that soul that gut feeling and i feel like he can feel this love between them it's very magnetic i'm getting here so what is this really feeling about her partner here? Yeah, she's healing. She's she's still persevering with her own healing and discovering her own growth here when it comes to things. Yeah, she may know that he's coming because I did feel a twin flamish type of energy here. Let's see. They've both been through things that have disrupted their inner peace, I feel and their union, their harmony. What is this illumination standstill in truth? Ah, the emperor's coming in and she's looking at him. This may be that he's in her radar with this illumination. She may see him or um, he may stand out to her. She's kind of at a standstill, not wanting to move. She's waiting on something here, taking the time within and looking at what truth she has with herself now she might be showing up as the emperor let's see about him yeah he's being schooled about uh chaos here he may be going through um <laughs> i feel like uh maybe he's learning about leadership and how to um have his blessings come in or his miracles upon miracles here What's this chaos, healing the chaos between these two? Do they know each other? Hmm. Healing some lack mindset here or feeling like abandonment issues or feeling out in the cold, kind of lacking certain things. And that may be about this self-worth. And they both may have felt that. Let's see. Yeah, they're healing it with the star here. Look at that. They're healing that chaos with the star. That's beautiful. They have that hope and guidance and harmony. And I feel like this is that um, <laughs> definitely that communication, that mindset or that uh, analytical. So being um, very intelligent. So that hope and promise and healing and guidance and having faith and all that good stuff. He may be learning all about that from her. So let's see. What about this? What is the next one here? So that's their greatest strength in the relationship. That they are able to heal things. They are finding out about each other or learning about each other perhaps. So 
I feel like they're learning things about one another. That's a that's a great strength. So they're taking the time to learn and heal things. So she really feels about her partner that there's a lot to discover here. There's growth here. There's healing. There's things, movement, forward movement because of this growth. And she's going to persevere. Um, and I feel like they're both going to when it comes to things. To discover things about themselves and each other. What's their biggest challenge? Uh, that's one, two, three. So this is the biggest challenge here. What is their biggest challenge? Judgment, success, being indecis indecisive. Jeez, my mouth. And freedom. So forgive my mouth here. I am just... <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this. They're having a passionate new beginning and charging. he's charging in there with that love stick or love wand. <laughs> I, well, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. <laughs> so the Knight of Wands, you know, this is about passionately coming forward for his person and doesn't care about the in the judgment perhaps and just wants to be successful in this and doesn't want to have that uh i feel like um what's that word uh where you where you keep talking about it talking about it, and you never do it and that's just how oh, i can't think of it put it in the comment sections um it's like that <laughs> um ah it's not coming to me anyhow let's see there's a fork in the road here there's it's all faded we have the fates here exchanging gifts a change in the wind and it's all about a masculine here and this is number one two three four five which is what does your partner need from you and he's masculine so this is for him um, maybe a decision of uh, which road she wants to go down. Um, maybe not. Maybe she gives some things unexpectedly here. But this is all faded. Let's see what's going on here with this. What does her partner need? Ah, <laughs> happiness. That's beautiful. Ah, look at that. And he, he's very, he's looking, what he's needing from her is that I kind of feel like um, happy emotions when it comes to them because he is emotionally balanced. He is looking for that happiness, you know, and the sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is abundance in all areas of their life, and he's just soaking it up. It's emotionally affecting him. So let us look at number six. What do you need from your partner? What does I you need for her part from her partner? Oh, she may need hmm, King of Pentacles. May need some ambition, maybe need them to be a provider or be disciplined in abundance or very intellectual, wealthy. There's security here. What is this? Hmm. Okay, so maybe there's some type of illusion or feeling like hmm, something surfacing here. Maybe about a disruption here. This might be a disruption, this other king. This could be a different person here disrupting things. And this might be somebody from the past coming in that's disrupting things. There's heartache and loss here, memories of love and harmony and intuition, but a big disruption. So it is about something that maybe is a hidden agenda here for this person coming in. Meanwhile, this is what she wants with this person. So... Let's have a look here. Hmm. At what steps does she need to take to strengthen this bond for IU? What do they need to do to strengthen it? Wow. Maybe look at children or maybe siblings are getting in the way. Family might be getting in the way. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe he has children. Maybe she doesn't. 
maybe this person has children, maybe, <sighs> hmm, let's see, love yourself first, so there's that self-worth, maybe somebody was being immature, and it might be this person here, yeah, finances and career, maybe she works with this person, and is upsetting this union, let's see what else, getting to know each other, so I feel like this may have to do with needing to strengthen their bond. They may need to be more mature, have that self-love. Um, there may be financial issues, maybe a prenup or something along those lines. They may be getting to know one another. Yeah, there is family issues here with the children there. So there may be siblings getting involved or something along those lines. Let's crack the deck here and see. Yeah, somebody might have said there's unrequited love here. Let's just see. Oh, my fingernail isn't working here. Wanting to keep an open mind. We're asking her family to. Mm, somebody feels like there's deception. And I feel like that may be to do with the family. I feel like it has to oh, stay optimistic. What's this family issues? Ah, oh, just wanting to maybe go in a loop or something. <laughs> may have to do with uh, all, I feel like it might have to do with a wedding or maybe they like this other person for her. Maybe they're not getting to know this person yet. So this is needing to strengthen some bond here. What is this? Yeah, having the strength to persevere with these people yeah no <laughs> they may not want them to go somewhere and they're gonna fight for this relationship I feel yeah they're I feel like with the queen of wands this may be a lot to do with being that confident and determined to do something here when it comes to no movement when it comes to their family issues, I feel. So maybe they're going to move. I keep getting move. Yeah, because this is their ten of cups. This, they're very happy together. And some people don't like people that are happy. They end up messing things up for them because they don't, they're don't. they not happy themselves. So yeah, there might be another person here that's getting in the way. Or this could be dad and mom. This could be somebody that is maybe not wanting this to happen. Let's see. But sometimes you can't help who you fall in love with. Let's see what spirit has to say about this connection. All is well. Archangel Jamel, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So once they're able to get through whatever this is here, because it looks like a big mess when it comes to the families. Now, maybe it's the families coming together. Maybe there's some clashing here. Maybe the children aren't getting along. Maybe they're adult children. Maybe they're adult siblings. And it could have to do with mom and dad here. Maybe they want to have a wedding and <laughs> maybe they want to just go on a lope or go somewhere quietly here. Let's see. Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So if anything about this connection, they are saying, hey, uh, we're here and we have some beautiful blessings coming your way. This is happening like it's supposed to. <laughs> Look at this victory here. Archangel Sandalphone. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Now, there's a lot of purple here. I feel like there might be a crown chakra open here. I feel like they're going to get past all of these people trying to interfere in this relationship. Let's see. 
beloved one, Archangel Chamel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. I can't make this up. Now, isn't that beautiful and brilliant idea? Archangel Urel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So, you are, or I, you, and her future spouse are going to have some kind of idea that is going to help with this, I feel. <laughs> They're going to get a victory in any case and win over these families. Um, I feel like with this here, this may be a family member on his side or her side, but I feel like this is her person here. So all these other people here, he may be this, he may be this emperor and just showing up in each part here as as each king because each king in the upright is the emperor so he may be showing up in his loving side in his secure and providing side and his truthful side here and she may be just showing up as very confident beautiful and fiery and determined and is going to speak her truth i feel so let's look at the after tarot here and see what's going on for IU here. Yeah, she's definitely maybe a boss lady here, maybe has her own business, and he's doing just fine. He is great all on his own right now. And this tells me this hasn't begun yet, and this is maybe where they meet here with this blessing. Yes, look at that, a financial blessing as well. So we have two blessings here. Wow. <laughs> no wonder the Empress showing up. I won't be surprised if I see the Empress. So we had, what do they feel about each other? Look at that marriage material with the four of wands moving in together. And this is all about getting married. This here mess here is all about a wedding and that is what I'm getting. I feel like the families are not getting along when it comes to the venue. Everybody wants a piece of the action about what's going to happen for this wedding. And I feel like these two are just like, you know what? This brilliant idea here. We're just going to go to... A, I don't know, another part of the world, maybe Hawaii or something and get married over there <laughs> or something along those lines, you know? So let's see, their greatest strength here is the wealth and the healing. I feel like there's healing here and that Queen of Pentacles, that nurturing and resourceful material success. And he's learning about things here. He's being illuminated to things. So let's have a look at um, the challenge. Yeah, they have a lot of strength here with the strength card. So passionately going forward with whatever it is they're passionate about, they're going to have this beautiful union, this beautiful, beautiful um, birth of something, maybe kids, family impact. And here's the family impact right here. But there's going to be progress and I feel like this may have to do with the wedding because this is happening very quickly and I feel like it's needing to take that time which I feel she does somewhere here yeah the standstill so the wedding part comes in he's here being illuminated and learning a few things and they heal one another. I feel like there's a twin flame. So whatever she's doing, he's feeling and doing as well. Um, just because she is, because they mirror one another. Let's see, what is the King of Cups here? Yeah, he's going to bring in that offer without a doubt. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, what is all of this chaos <laughs> over here? Let's see, three, four, six. Let's see, what do you need from your partner? So there, there might be a provider here. It's things that are surfacing. Yeah, things that are coming in here. This intuition and harmony and memories and heartbreak and loss and disruptions that have happened. And I feel like they keep moving forward. They're winning. Yeah, there's that self-love that he was learning. He's keeping that intact here. I feel like so is she. Now let's have a look at 
this chaos over here with <laughs> what steps do they need to take to tighten the bond? <laughs> I feel like they're together and they're they're not going to move forward un unless they're both in it to win it, I feel. There's that passionate new beginning. There's that wedding. I'm feeling that blessing of passion. This is family impact, progress, initiating something here. Um, and I feel like this is beautiful because she's got the ten of of cups there plus the ace of wands are you kidding me like come on this is crazy all right let's look here at what spirit's saying about all this this brilliant idea yeah she's gonna have the position of advantage when it comes to other things here any competition when it comes to competition about this wedding maybe maybe mums are taking over yeah <laughs> Okay, so this is saving, um, maybe kind of, I want to say, not possessive, but fixated on her own wedding and wanting to cultivate it for her own self. She wants to plan it. She wants to do some of the stuff. I feel like everybody here is kind of like, I'm doing this, blah, 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 and then everybody's kind of taking over this wedding from her and I feel like she's like no no it's mine mine <laughs> go go you know I'll deal with what I want to do me and him will you know and it's it's a combined energy between these two of <laughs> with the moon card there this is all about communicating having compassion I feel like this is the moon, this is Pisces. So this is things that are an internal conf conflict. These, This fear of these moms or families taking over this wedding. And she's like, yeah, no, no, mm -mm, I'll end it before I do that. Or <laughs> we'll, we'll just, we're not going to get married then. Or, <laughs> you know, like that. Let's see what this brilliant idea is. What is this? Yeah. It's definitely going to be worth the, um, with the King of Pentacles. So I feel like this is the emperor coming out in all this. He's, he's the leader. He's intelligent and abundant, disciplined, and has the power and uh, the security. And I feel like there's this thing here, like, He's coming out as wanting truth or order. <laughs> I'm feeling I want order in the court or you know what I mean? Like uh, hitting the crap, the, the, ugh, I can't think of it. Uh, gabble? G gable? Gabble? B -b 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 <laughs> hitting that little thing, the little hammer that's there for getting order in the court. And I feel like he's just like, kind of organizing things like giving that all right everybody settle down like we're we're gonna go through this and this is her and I and we're passionate about doing our own wedding and kind of taking charge of things here and she's like yeah I'm this is mine <laughs> this part is mine and his and we're gonna do it you guys need to butt out a bit so I feel like this is kind of the issue going on here and I feel like somebody's feelings are going to get hurt here because they're not going to move forward with the wedding if everybody's going to be fighting about this wedding. So let's just see what is their intuition saying. Yeah, <laughs> I can't make it up. They're fighting about this and this this wanting to heal this, I feel. Let's cut the deck, crack it and see. Page of Wands, yeah, like I'm walking away if you guys aren't going to cooperate, if you guys are all going to fight and not, you know, listen to my wishes about what I want for my wedding or things like that. It's just like, you guys, like, <laughs> yeah, there's, there he is. He's taking charge here. Yeah. Not really caring for all these, this chaos when it comes to this wedding. Look at that, the lovers, wow. There's a lot of love here when it comes to her and her spouse. So I feel like definitely not going to let everybody else kind of disrupt this love union they have 
with all this chaos and fighting about this wedding. So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting here. So let's see what time frame we're looking at here for IU. We have Capricorn. So she may be a Capricorn. Let's see what it says. Uh, perceive success. There's a new light here for the darkest days <laughs> framework. And what does that say? flourish. So definitely perceiving success. So there'll be, they may, it may take a while from 10 weeks to 10 months to get this going, or that's when he will ask her to marry them, marry him within 10, 10 weeks to 10 months. But I'm looking at 10 months more than 10 weeks. But we have the number 10. So let's look at that. Yeah, this is a fresh start that blooms. They'll have a breakthrough when it comes to things here. We have the two. It is progressing well now. So I feel like things are balancing out when it comes to this chaos here. And then you decide for yourself. <laughs> I can't make it up. They're going to decide for themselves about this wedding. And it's not going to be everybody taking over this hijacking her wedding. So we have the number 10 to 5. So 10, 25. So they will decide for themselves within 5 to 5, 5 days to 5 weeks after um, all of this is starting to progress properly. <laughs> so we have number two, which is balancing and aligning everything and then deciding for themselves. This is free will, okay, and taking responsibility for their wedding and that's what they wanna do. So 10 to five, maybe an angel number message for her and her future spouse this is so beautiful so they're not going to let this disruption go down they're going to figure this out and work through it they're going to have a victory here and they may have a certain idea that they have about their wedding that may be a surprise for everybody else so anyhow <laughs> this is what I have for her so please like share and subscribe <laughs> become part of the divine oracle tribe you can donate in the description box if you'd like just click on the more there's a paypal account there if, if you want to donate and uh, there's also the super thanks now also i'm looking at doing private readings which i will open up in september i'm only going to do a certain amount so if you want the reading i have different offers for readings from 30 dollars up to 140 dollars so i will have certain packages in the description box below that you can choose and depending on what you're looking for in your life, usually it's about love. So I will have a few different loved ones in there. And I did get new cards. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the donations, which is bringing in new cards within the next couple days that I should have them. And we will use them for some of the readings. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I always use the money that I get to the donations I get to buy more cards for new things to talk about. <laughs> All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. Oh, and the other thing, if you want to get in on the free reading for last month, I have it opened until the 10th. On the 10th, I will be picking a winner. So just go onto my channel, click on the community tab, and there should be a post. Just scroll down. There should be a post. Actually, it should be the first one there. That's going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to win a free video, personalized video worth $140. So you can also gift that if you don't want the reading for yourself. So there are conditions. The person that you want to gift it to has to want the reading, of course. <laughs> and then you need to be able to have permission to give me their name. So I know what email I'm looking for because they will have to email me whoever you're gifting this to if you win. So good luck to y'all and we will see you guys next time. Stay blessed. Later.